Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about surviving your first year as a real estate photographer. So let's get into it. All right. So if you're new to real estate photography or love real estate photography, make sure to subscribe as that's what I talk about on this channel. Um, in this video, I'm talking about surviving your first year, which can be the most challenging uh, year, you know, with any business, right? To be able to su survive, you know, that first year, you're going to have to likely go through some pain to you know, emerge victoriously on the other side of that. But, you know, I think looking at surviving the, the, the first year, there's a couple variables that are very, very important, right? Variable number one, I call it gasoline. You got to have some, some type of, uh, some type of funds or, or some type of buffer, you know, uh, gasoline is kind of like an analogy in my head to like resources, right? Money, right? You got to have, you don't necessarily have to have something set aside you can have a side hustle which i definitely did when i started because real estate photography when i first started wasn't going to sustain me and my family my wife wasn't working so i was trying to do real estate transactions as well on the side um, so i was doing multiple things at least probably for the first three or four months before i really started to get traction and then as it got more traction then i was able to dedicate more of my time uh, but yeah, man, that first year, a lot of beans and rice and uh, coupon clipping and who knows what. For me, even being on food stamps because, you know, I, you know, you have to have those the resources, you know, to be able to survive. I think uh, I gave myself about six months. I had about six months where I could survive, go as lean as possible, spend as little money as possible t to be able to. Um, to survive and I think you know what you need is time right so it does take time to be able to find success in this business you're not going to find success overnight in any business right you got to find customers you got to do uh, there's a lot of variables at play but the resources in the gasoline that I talk about what that really just buys you is time right so you don't want to uh, leave a job say hey I'm going to go do real estate photography full time and all you have is two weeks worth of money to 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 get by right and then after two weeks if you're not successful in two weeks you're gonna have to just go back to your corporate america job or wherever you came from so you got to give yourself some time and uh yeah it's very very important i think that's the biggest variable to success outside of investing in yourself and putting in a whole lot of heck of a, a lot of work uh, whether that's connecting with you know the biggest variable to success outside of time and having some resources to be able to be even have a chance to survive in the business is you know the relationships that you build the connections that you make who who knows that you're a real estate photographer getting the word out about what you do and then you know and then out beyond that is delivering a great customer experience to be able to retain those customers and have them refer their friends uh, in the real estate industry to your business. So anyways, I don't want I didn't want this video to be too long, but those are some things that you definitely got to consider in order to survive uh, your first year. There are other factors as well, but those are the big, big rocks in my opinion that, you know, you got to have uh, nailed down. You definitely need time. You need resources. You need a great customer experience and you need to get the word out about what you do and how you do it. So anyways, if you got value out of this video, hit the like button and we'll see you guys on the next one.